available at Walmart. 1230 WBCT. The thoughts and opinions expressed are those of the sponsor and don't necessarily reflect those of the station or iHeartMedia. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call and make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinozo has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinozo can help you. And the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today. Set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. And now, here's this week's edition of the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour. Good morning, everybody, and have, I hope you're having a happy Sunday. I thought I was going to lose you for a second, Doc. I thought you went to the bathroom. I had to go and get you with the microphone. So uh, we're here. <laughs> Doc is here. Frey Santori from Amp2.tv is here. Uh, the whole crowd is here. Hi, crowd. How is it going? So, Doc, has, you feeling a little good today? Feeling pretty little, good. Pretty good. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking terrific. <laughs> Who's your plastic surgeon? I want to go to him. <laughs> okay, so I want to tell everyone we are having a seminar on the 16th from 3 until 6 with Dr. Pinozo. That should be very, very good. You will have the to, opportunity. To yeah, you'll have the opportunity uh, to hear what he has to say. We're going to talk from the top of your head down to your little toes and he's going to tell you about everything you can ask questions yeah you can ask any question you want uh if you're a patient which we know is not going to well, happen not only that we're going to have good uh, uh tv works there oh yeah we got a, we got so an expert have, guy uh, here we have tapes to show and uh, yeah it's going to be really really good something different you've never seen anything like it no and you know what we ought to do freddie i just ha- had an idea we uh, we ought to take orders for uh, dvds if people want a DVD of the show, we could uh, offer that to them at a, a cost that we... I, I'm going to buy a bunch of books and have them over there. Good. We'll have some books. We'll have everything. So let me first start. So this one gentleman who came into Dr. Pinozo got mad at me, so I'm going to give you the numbers. The call number today, if you'd like to speak to the amazing Dr. Pinozo, or you can just talk to Freddie and I. We're just as amazing as he, as he is. It is 800-889-0267. So if you have any questions or you want to ask Dr. Pinozo something that's bothering you, call him up at 800-889-0267. I won't give you his regular number because you're going to call up right now. The three numbers that you should always, always, always keep in your wallet. Always keep your Social Security number in your wallet because that's the first thing they ask you. Hey, give me a Social Security number. The second thing is I found out this one, your wife's birthday. And the third <laughs> thing you should keep in your wallet is 561 561- 381-5800, and that's the number of Dr. Anthony Pinozo. Remember, folks, pain really sucks. I mean, you don't, you don't want pain. You really don't. And, Doc, um, I could tell a story, but I want you to talk a little. I mean, you know, people, people tune in to hear you. Well, he's, like, he's like nonstop this morning. I just had regular coffee. I'm really pumped up, buddy. <laughs> so talk, talk to our new audience because I just got numbers that we, we went really high. So thank you for New York, and thank you for Atlanta. Ask a question so I can talk. Okay, I wanted to ask you something about <laughs> migraines because now they're advertising like crazy on TV for Aleve. I just found out what Aleve means. It means alleviate the symptoms of pain but not cure it, <laughs> yeah, right? That's true. So, I mean, with all these people coming out now talking again of the Botox or the migraines, how you, how, explain how you're able to do the impossible, that you're able to cure a migraine headache. Well, because we know where it's from. Uh, Migraine or any headache, the term is a symptom. Mm -hmm. So you have to know where it's from. Well, I happen to know where it's from. And um, people say that's not possible. That is possible. I did research work on it, me and my son, 2,000 miles away. And uh, uh, we are treating this. And uh, we have not had a failure yet. In uh, three months, we've been doing this. There's no failures yet. How do you attribute that? 
it's a source. You need a source. You need to treat the source. You can't uh, you can't get rid of a pain, which is what migraine is, mm-hmm. uh, without knowing the source. Once you treat it, it does respond. So I'm going to tell you this is true. Try to uh, work uh, work it any way you want, but this is true. We actually uh, relieve headache, migraine forever. Mm-hmm. And if you come in, you get it done, and you'll see how good it is. Also, we had another experience. Uh, fellow was playing golf and uh, hurt his neck. Oh. And had uh, migraine, a headache, and uh, tingling. Mm-hmm. He had uh, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, ringing in the ear. Ringing in the ears. Uh, and uh, when I uh, treated that, he said that ringing is gone also. So uh, we're going to work on that, mm-hmm. and um, I'm going to work on it, uh, getting the uh, people with ringing in the ears, uh, see if we can do something with that. But this is the way search, research goes, and uh, we do it all the time, and it works. So if you don't take advantage of the migraine treatment that's right in your own backyard, people, I don't know what to tell you. Well, we're, we're, we're finding out, and I think Freddie, as a, a next coach, is finding out that the, the concussions that a lot of these football players have is not coming from the head. It's coming because when they hit, I'm assuming that it hits in the neck, something happens in the neck. Well, we've been talking about this for a yeah. long time, and I come up with that before anybody. Now you're seeing that happen. Right. But it is true that the, um, the symptoms they're having are not from the brain at all. Concussion is term that shouldn't be used. As a matter of fact, last uh, week or so, we talked about Johns Hopkins did, uh, did some research on this, and uh, they agree 100% with me. Yeah. Or I agree with them. Whatever. But it is the truth. So when you get diverse opinions like that, that are the same then, uh, from diverse sources, mm-hmm. then you know it's, it's good and take advantage of it. Don't take medicine. If you didn't take anything, take aspirin. Aspirin for migraine, nothing else. So you know what we're going to do today, Doc? Yeah. We're going to we're going to have those beautiful people, my people from New York, wrote us in. We got a lot of questions. So I think today is going to be questions that we talk about all the time. Okay. Okay. So this is from <laughs> Robert from New York City who writes. Sort of show that had you guys talk about pain in the foot, and then doctors not being able to fix this issue. I had foot pain in the bottom of my foot, which I was told was plantar fasciitis and that the rest of the anti-inflammatory pills would fix the problem in my foot it's been one year and the pain is still there and sometimes it's worse than others can you explain to me why doctors think that the problems in my foot when perhaps as you say it could come from my knee or my hip my doctor refuses to accept that perhaps this could be the issue coming from but refuses to accept different views towards this issue Whew. Can you explain what's going on? Well, yeah, that's I like a thing like that. New Yorkers explain everything. Explain about well, plantar fasciitis. Well, you have to go to another doctor. That's all. What, what can I tell you? <laughs> now, well, they gave it yeah. a term. I guess, yeah, I guess plant, that's what plant, you start from. Plantar, plantar fasciitis, fasciitis yeah. does not exist. Uh, it's too obvious and never gets better. So once you have that uh, diagnosis made, you can't improve. It's just not going to improve. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what this person does not explain is whether that pain is in the front of the foot or in the heel. There is a difference. No, okay. they, it wasn't in the ladder. No. So, Rob, if, if, you wanna, if you're listening right now, you can call the up plantar, the station. Plantar fasciitis is in the heel. Right. Uh, the other part is in the toe. And their treatments are different. So when they they're get both orthotics? Treatable. They're both treatable. They're uh, oh, treatable. Do they both come from the same place? Or is no. It two, be different two different places. Different places yeah. Wow. Huh. Can you have both? Yeah, sure. Why not? Wow. So a lot of people, a uh, guy told me to go see, or do you, a lot of podiatrists say to use, uh, they design $450 orthotics. Does that, ha- does that get rid of it? Podiatrists are not trained in musculoskeletal medicine. No, That's what this is. Right. They're trained as surgeons. And there's nothing against them at all. They operate uh, when it's necessary, and they do a great job. Hey, that's not the issue here. The issue here is medicine. <clears throat> How do you make a diagnosis and treat the area involved? Yeah, we do that. They've done it for 70-some thousand people in 53 years. I think we know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if, if but you, you get a relief right away, the oh, same yeah, day we treat it. There's no treatments for this. Front or we back? We treat it, and you get it right now. And, and that's cut. front or back you can get a treatment for? Any treatment I do, it relieves that pain right now. Wow. Doc, are they looking in the wrong place? Yes. I think that's really what the question was it's, all about. It's, it's also conceptual. 
You okay. have to understand the sequence of events for the for any any pain well, being produced. What you said is correct, because from what I understand, podiatrists could only work from the toe uh, under the knee. They can't go any further, so they can't say if it's a hip pain. Who knows? Right. I don't. Uh, I don't know anything about them. Okay. <laughs> Except well, they are surgeons. Yeah. Well, again, if you are, uh, Robert, if you're listening today and you want to speak to Dr. Pinozo and give him some more information, the number is 800-889-0267. He's right yep. here to answer it. Yep. Now, let's see. Oh, wow. We got a Miami. Oh, I like to see Miami Beach. Joseph from Miami Beach writes, I've been a lifeguard on Miami Beach for a long time and now seem to get a lot of migraines. Is this condition that comes from too much sun? I was given migraine medicine, which doesn't do anything, and was told... Uh, the sun beating down increases the condition into a migraine. <laughs> the pain is in the back of the head, and as you said on your show. But I want to know if my condition is normal. I did not have these pains about four months ago. So what's going on? A migraine is from a particular location. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we'd be able to tell you that. Right. Sun has nothing to do with it. And meats and all that, and sugar and wine. Nothing that you can eat or drink will have anything to do with headache. Well, I drink two glasses of wine a night, and I, have, I, I don't even get a regular headache. So I know it's not that. I eat chocolate with the wine, so I guess... Uh, headache is a neck pain. Right. And you have to know where in the neck it comes from, and we do that. He might have had an injury in the last four months. Hey, you know, anything's possible. But what they gave me as an excuse are excuses for not, know, not knowing what they're talking mm-hmm. about. These doctors should not talk like that. There's no evidence that, that, that there's any right. connection at right. all. Well, at least people are beginning to see that. Oh, well. <laughs> well, they're beginning to ask the right questions now. Get in there and get yeah. their treatment and get over with it. It's funny. Is... It looks like they're writing, and they're sort of afraid to tell the doctor, yeah. Yeah, you're completely out of your mind. This is the truth over here. Well, I, I've seen, physically seen six people, and one I sent. And whenever I see it, she says, oh, yeah, I could drive, I have no headaches. So, I mean, he's, he really knows what he's doing. And a lot of people, I think, you know what it is, Doc? I think people go out and they search on, on the web, and they'll see something like uh, guaranteed to get rid of your migraine. No one can guarantee that. Except, except you. Except me. And we, and we have proof. And we have proof. We have uh, oh, three months of this or four months of this already. Or maybe it's more. I, I can't keep track of time anymore. But we have no failures in treating migraine. Yeah. None. None. No medications, nothing. Is that med- is that amazing? Think about that, Freddie. It is amazing. That's worth the Nobel Prize in medicine. I mean, yeah, that's is, what I want to know. How come you not recognize? I mean, that well, to me is amazing. Well, the local doctors never ask. They they never uh, say what you say. You can do migraine. Show us how to do it. <clears throat> okay, well, I'd, I'd easily go to the hospital and give them a lecture if they wanted. I don't want to keep any secrets. No. Know? Everybody should do this. Well, I got a crazy question. How much? Roughly, someone comes in both sides of the neck, uh, needs shots for a migraine. What does that roughly cost? I mean, I'll just give me a because the patient has to, is it under $500? Oh, yeah. Okay, so how much, uh, I happen to know how much a, a Botox shot is, which they're going back. That's $1,500 per shot. Well, it doesn't do any good because no, it's well, the wrong tissue. Right. Wrong tissue. And, it, you know, and what, I, what I always talk about to people is this. There's relief of pain and there's a cure of a pain. So if you're going to relieve a pain with uh, with Tylenol or relieve, okay, but tomorrow that pain can come back. Yeah. And you guarantee when you do it, it doesn't come back. Well, it does not come back. I mean, I've seen people that I know yeah, who was next right. Next question. Oh, I'm sorry, Doc. You, I, you, I, let me <laughs> sit over there. You know, I, I like this, don't you, Freddie? Okay, so I'm sorry. Ask a question. I'm sorry. I, 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 Too much caffeine, I would think. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry I'm bothering you, Doc. Okay. <laughs> this one is from Atlanta. Are we on it to Atlanta, Freddie? Yes, we okay, are. Okay, I'm just checking. My six-year-old boy seems to have a hump on his back on the right side. I can't remember an accident on his back to create the situation, and I have heard on other shows that perhaps it's an injury that went on and inflammation set in. I can't remember him being hurt or something happening to his back. Could this issue be because of something else? Let's get that part done first. No. Okay, you say It's no. an injury. It has okay. to be an injury. Okay. You're not with him 24 hours a day. You don't know what this kid does. Oh, yeah, right. <clears throat> he could have fallen out there. You never know. So, in other words, you're not born with a hump on your back or scoliosis. No, okay. you are not. Uh, something else besides an injury, <laughs> and if so, can this be fixed? Yes. Okay. Easily. Doctors. I mean, it's easy to fix. Yeah. Once you ha- understand it, it's easily to, easy to do. Mechanics. And knowing the body. 
But you got to know the anatomy. Yeah. And, uh, well, I got, a, I got a question. Is a minor injury sufficient enough to cause that kind of information? Oh, sure. doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be a major. I can't walk. Absolutely not. No. Well, that, that changes the equation. Yeah. Well, here's the other part. Doctors tell me that he will outgrow the condition, but I don't want to wait till he's in high school and find out that he can't be helped. Can you explain do, what's going on? Do not listen to those doctors. They have no idea what they're talking about. These do not, you don't, do not grow out of this. Mm -hmm. It's scarred down vertebrae. You do not grow out of it. Right. You've got to get it released, and we do that. It's not a surgical thing, and uh, it works, and it's uh, permanent. I did it on my grandkids. I mean, they, they, uh, this is the way it works. You and gotta he's, do it. You gotta do it. And he's going up March to get his shots from his son for two weeks, right? <laughs> oh, Jay, ask another question, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with? Uh, the I have no idea, Doc. Next I don't question. Know. Go ahead. Next right. question. <laughs> I'm just gonna read the questions to both of you make fun of me. Well, read it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's in one of those mood things. Could you see that? Okay. Holly from Atlanta writes, I've seen your show on vertigo and have heard enough with this condition and wanted to ask, are there any other cures for vertigo that you have heard of? Since you have found the area that seems to create the condition, is there another method of treatment besides what you do? No, why would you want another method? And the other method is the cage. It's two seconds. Right. I have a feeling that somebody is whispering in her good yeah. ear. Yeah. Right. There is right. another method. Yeah. Right. There is no other method. It's There's two seconds of your life, and it goes and does not come back. Okay. You know, the funny thing is that all of a sudden, this week, I heard a lot of doctors, a lot of chatter uh -huh. about how they have a cure to vertigo. Oh, yeah, no, you know, they it's do curable. not have a cure for vertigo. I mean, have you seen it? Even cancer this well, week, they're saying, can just... be cured in 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable. No, uh, they've never seen what we can do. That's what's I've going on. I've never seen it. We've developed this lately. And uh, it is true, though, because uh, we have no f had no failures in vertigo yet. Well, I haven't seen one person. I, I, I mean, a lot of the people that came in to see, to see you. And it's like, a, it's like a miracle. How come nobody else could do this? Well, hey, that's the way, that's the way it, knowledge goes. Yeah. Not everybody's as smart as everybody else. Not everybody does the same research. Not everybody has the same conditions to right. do research. We do. This is all that we do for a living. Musculoskeletal medicine. This is what it is. And, uh, and I have a, uh, a son who does the same work in Phoenix. Now, we do the different aspects of the research and it's co collaborate on it. So when I tell you it works, it's because he works and I'm working and it works. So just come in and get it done. Don't mess around. Well, this isn't even new medicine. He's, you've been doing it 50 years. More than that. 53. 53 years. So this isn't new. No, now he's a this, real doctor, which people have to understand. He's this, not a part, uh, this part is new. Yeah. Right. Because you've... Yeah, the E and T guys are still doing uh, crystals. <laughs> you know, I had lunch. Thing. It's so bizarre. I had I lunch with a lady who swears by the crystals. <laughs> so I said to her, "Can I move your head and see if I can hear the crystals?" <laughs> she says, "No, Fred. You, this is no joke." She tells me, "It's no joke, Doc." She has crystals in her head. Yeah, they they put them on a table. I've seen it, and they and they move the table up, and they move it down, they move it back, and they move it up. And said so that'll be eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, these crystals are supposed to be electronically in your head. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. It but doesn't this happen. By it's, it. There's somebody's imagination is what it is. But he's right. I've heard about that before I met you. Remember, I'm criticizing other MDs, and I fully realize that. But I don't have any re relationship with them. I have a relationship with you as the customer, right. the patient. If you want to get relief, get this done for yourself. Don't worry about what you've been told. And what does it take anyway? It takes two to five minutes of your time. Very fast, does not come back, goes forever. Do it, do it, do it. So I'm going to give this number hesitantly. His office number, which he answers every call himself, <laughs> is 561-381-5800. And if you're on a cell phone or your iPad, it doesn't cost you any money. Uh, and if it does, it's worth coming in and seeing him. That's 561-381-5800. And please do not call until after 12 o'clock. Because this is a live show? It's a live I mean, show. Somebody called me from, they're all over the place. Somebody called <laughs> me from uh, Atlanta or New York. Anyway, they're going to bring his 14-year-old son in. New uh, York. Fly in there. It's New York. And New York. it's New York. And, um, and you have a truck driver coming in from Atlanta. Yeah. And I said, it's well worth it. I mean, you get it done one time. You take a vacation. It's less than what you'd pay for the two steak dinners. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, get it done. Gee, it was, I don't do you, know. Where do you eat your steak dinner that is less? Okay, I'll go back. Wow. 
You shut the dock up. Oh, I know. I see. I got him this time. <laughs> well, I was calculating what it costs. Let's okay. see. Two steak dinners at uh, Chris would be what it is. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a good price. So when I go, okay. Next one. So I yelled at uh, Chris from New York City writes, how many visits would it take to help me with a bad shoulder that doctors tell me that they want to operate and fix a torn rotator cuff? Let's talk about first. Well, we haven't had a rotator no, we cuff had a rotator in a long, long time. Right. Rotator cuffs don't exist. It's it's a euphemism for for shoulder pain. It's like sciatica for a leg uh, for a back pain. You don't know what that means. It doesn't happen. And um, but I don't know about the question. How fast you get? The same day you're there, you have an improvement. The first day you get an improvement if I treat it. With a rotator cuff, when somebody goes to see you, you're out for eight months. Well, uh, we uh, there is no rotator cuff. We I test for that. that. But this we, is, I we, think this is what this patient no, no, is we, being uh, no. told. He's being told, but there's no such thing. Correct. It's a supraspinatus tendonitis is what it is. Whoa. And it's a treatable condition right then and there. So you improve right then and there. Two minutes, two minutes. That's amazing. Eight months, two minutes. And, you know, it looks like rotator there's cuff. There's no tear. It's over. I understand that, radio. Doc. That's not well, what they you, say. You understand it, but they don't understand I, that, This is what we're there trying to no tell There's no such them. thing as a tear. You could have a sprain, and that's it. Well, what about the job? I, uh, Tuesday, I was coming. Uh, well, what happened on Tuesday? I could, can I say this? It'll only take me a, bit, a minute, I promise. I won't ramble on. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Let's, we're going back. Last, last Tuesday. Tuesday. Last Tuesday. <laughs> last Tuesday, we went and we went to sit down and have lunch. The water came, and he got three calls. We had to go right back to the office. They were sitting there. One of the gentlemen was uh, had two tours in Afghanistan, and he would ride his bike around uh, around the military base, and he fell off, and he bro- did something with his shoulder. Wasn't even in combat. No. And he said, they told him he's never, his arm, before he came into Dr. Pinot's, I don't know if you could see it, it was like this. One, one shorter than the other. One shorter than the other. And he said... He's riding his bike. In fact, there's a picture of him in Dr. Pinoza's yeah. office of him actually riding his bike. He got better. Yeah. And he said, went to the VA. No one can make it better. This, and he said he was going to try to call us up today and, and talk about it. He was so unbelievably happy about it. Another guy came in. <laughs> he shut the TV off because he was in such pain. He didn't want to hear it. That's when I called you. Really? Yeah. Was oh, that when the TV yeah. was on? <laughs> yeah, he shut it off. <laughs> the guy shut it off. He didn't want to hear about it. He was in such pain. He looked like a Bavarian pretzel. That's how, that's how he was, he was over like that. <laughs> the world's a Bavarian pretzel. The one is all twisted. Jeez. He comes in. He got, wait, this is funny. He got one shot, and the guy said, oh, you gave me two. He said, doctor said, don't. He said, I'm paying you for two because I'm walking again. And I'm looking at the guy. He said, could you do me a favor and fix the TV on the way out? put the TV back on? I mean, people listen to us, and they think that we're kidding around. But he this had, is, uh, he had uh, ringing in. Yes, you would tell me ring in his ears he tried and, to answer the phone twice and, and we fixed that so there's another area that we're going to do research on yeah, in what causes a ringing in the ears it may be the same area that does uh vertigo and migraine it may be wow and a lot of people suffer from that a lot of elderly people everybody i get asked all guy. the time yeah. can you do anything about this and i would say no but now i'm going to do some research yeah. on this we'll 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 let you know but that's, you know, that's, I mean, he left his lunch to help these people. And you want to say, Freddie, I mean, you could literally cry when you see these, this guy walk out. He was in such pain. I mean, he was twisted. It was amazing. He's twisted. Yeah, he was, he was I mean, he was hunched on. I mean. He laughed like you on a good day. That's why I sit down, Freddie, because you'll wheel me out of here one day. Okay, Doc, another question? Yes. All right, here we go. That's a good question. We got less going. Let's go. You got me. I'm, I'm going. Uh, could someone go out and get me a cup of coffee, please? Okay. Alicia from New York City writes, I've taken Botox. Alicia, come on. Well, you know, Botox, unfortunately, Doc, this week <laughs> has made a comeback. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a lot of comebacks. So did I. I've seen a lot of I said four of them. It's It only makes money for the doctor. It doesn't do you any good at all. Well, this is a good question because I've been... Wondering about this. Alicia from New York City writes, I've taken Botox to replace migraine headaches, and I've gone for more than three three times. That's a lot of money. Each time the Botox seems to fix the problem for about two to three months. Then you have to go back for another shot. Now that I hear your show, it's dangerous to do this procedure. I will suffer from other damages to the area they are injecting me. Why would this procedure, meaning yours, be allowed if, number one, it, I'm sorry, Botox, if it doesn't work, and two, if it can be dangerous? Well, I, you could answer that one. Well, uh, if you find a bunch of doctors who recommend it, uh, 
they, you know, some of them do it, some of them don't. But what you should know is that the tissue is the wrong tissue to treat. Uh, headache comes from ligament, not muscle. So when you uh, paralyze your muscles, you're not doing yourself any good. And if I examined you, we'd still have a bad neck, even after the Botox, because it doesn't go away. That's why the pain comes back, because it doesn't leave. It just gets ameliorated for a while. So, uh, yeah, don't mess around with Botox. If you want to get rid of it, come in, get my treatment. I guarantee it, you're going to be pain-free. So, so, Doc, the Botox is injected into the muscle. muscle. It's snake venom. That's why it removes wrinkles, correct? Yes. Right, right. Okay. But what in the world, why would anybody feel better after just relieving the pain in muscle? That's not even where it's at. Well, uh, it, it, actually, it can't. Uh, so I would say that's why I made that statement, that she would still have it uh, on my exam. We would still find out where it is. So do you think that they're assuming that the pain is Yeah, gone? they're assuming. Yeah. They, get, they get some relief. I mean, you get a muscle contracture. See, what happens is when you have a painful ligament, the muscles around the area will contract a little to stop motion because motion is painful. So that's how you get relief from that. Muscles do not work. But if I examined you, we would find that pain would still be there. Do you follow that? Mm -hmm. So you're actually <laughs> contracting the muscle to relieve some of the soreness. Uh, yeah, it stops motion. Yeah. But you can get paralysis with that, right? Uh, you do get paralysis of uh, muscles. Uh, actually, it's a nerve that's uh, affected, but the muscles don't work, so that's a paralysis. But uh, it's in small areas. Uh, so I think there's a lot of showmanship available with this mm -hmm. and uh, on the exams and so forth that they do. But well, on my exam, we're this is a pure musculoskeletal exam. We do not miss anything. And if it's there, it'll show right up, and it's going to be there. So... Let's have a game. Uh, just get your Botox and come in and tell me, and I'll examine you, and we'll show you where it is. Well, you might have something funny. When you have Botox for wrinkles, it'll last two to three months. Well, it's because the muscles underneath don't right. contract. The muscles go and flat. And then they stop contraction. Right. And, you have to, and then the wrinkle comes back. It comes back because the muscle power comes back. The nerve right. it, regenerates. This is, this is as important as not having the surgery done if you don't need it. Exactly right. I well, mean, if they hit a nerve, Doc... Any treatment that's done if you don't need it is a tragic situation. Somebody is making out on that, and it's not the patient. So you got to remember, we're here to educate you. In fact, you should buy my book. These principles are in the book. Uh, for instance, if, somebody, if you walk into a doctor and say, I have low back pain, and he says, oh, let's get an MRI, walk out of there. He doesn't know what he's talking about. See? You want You want knowledge. You want somebody to ask you where it is, why it is, where the symptoms are, and then you have to put it together and you have to do uh, certain work to find out where it is. Then you could uh, get an MRI because MRIs are not diagnostic, even though you've heard they are and they, it's big money and they, you think you're getting something out of it. You are not because it's interpreted by someone who's never seen you. I mean, I wouldn't do it myself, and I don't prescribe them at the office either. Uh, we have a gentleman by the name of Paul from Arizona. Would you oh, like Paul, to speak to him? Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, uh, good morning, everybody. It's my good morning, Paul. Hey, Paul. Second part of our research outfit. Right, right. Um, hey, I was going to uh, make a comment. I heard you guys talking about neck pain, and I happen to have some right now at this moment. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, from, uh, from exercising... And, you know, there are some, um, you know, what the insurance companies do, what Medicare does, there's like an algorithm that you have to follow um, to get treated. You know, you have to do, you have to have the pain for a certain amount of time, and or you should. You uh, should have a documented uh, therapy, physical therapy notes and that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's really too bad um, because, uh, you know, the way we treat these things, you know, we can uh, do it a lot faster and for a lot less money um, to the entire system if they would just, you know, let us do our, our work the way we like to do it. So are they telling you that you have to have the pain for a certain amount of time? That's right. Yeah. 
So they're dictating against that's medicine? that's it. They're, they're telling you, uh, well, doctor, you don't know what you're doing. You do it our way. So we are send you to physical therapy. And they don't know anything about it. They don't diagnose anything. Uh, it's the worst system that I've ever seen. They never correct themselves. They don't ask for help. They just go off on their own. And, uh, and that's what the insurance company wants you to do. Four months of physical therapy for a headache. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and when that doesn't work, then they're allowed to use your method. No. Or they're not allowed to use it. No. Now you have to do What else do you have to do, Paul, after that? Uh, it just has to be, you know, at least for Medicare guidelines, but these guidelines are adopted by their insurance companies generally. You have to have three months of pain and and uh, have a documented uh, therapy notes and fail conservative measures, really. Yeah. But, well, that's but I know. That's asinine. I, you have to suffer know, through pain? If, yeah, but I know if I was uh, somewhere around... You know, either if, uh, you know, if I was in Florida or if, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, Dr. Anthony there was here, I would get a a shot uh, in one of my joints there in my neck. I think it's a 6-7 because it goes down yeah, into my, my shoulder blades. Yeah, and, uh, uh, <laughs> You're lifting weights I again, aren't you? not well at all. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot faster and, uh, you know, it's I've uh, had that many a times if I hurt myself, and uh, it's the quickest way to go. Look at it this way. Uh, insurance companies always worried about uh, overcharging, so they get these chiropractors are covered, no no uh, notice needed. You can get a chiropractor treatment, and there's no science there. Physical therapy is covered. No, no, uh, right. no referral you needed. They pay for that. Three months of that, which costs probably um, uh, over uh, close to two thousand dollars, insurance companies. And really? what do you get out of it? Very, very little. Okay, you come to us like for he has a six seven there. It's uh, it's two shots, uh, two hundred forty bucks, and you're cured. Now, what more do you want? Wait, this is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it's unbelievable. Is I mean, true. this is just downright yeah, bad business by. Uh, yeah. Do you have this? Do you have the same thing up there when uh, people go and do all these other other things like Botox and and, and other shots, and they still have no relief? Do, do you have patients like that? Or is it just here in the area that we're at? No, no, we we have that. Uh, uh, it's that's kind of uh, everywhere. You'll see right. that. But don't forget about the other costs involved with with those kinds of uh, treatments. If you're working or something, you have to take off work. Mm-hmm. The gas right. money to uh, the drive to the to the uh, other to the places yeah. for you know sometimes three times a week for six weeks the co-pays there it adds up to a lot of money out of everyone else's pocket as well you know the patient's pocket they spend a lot insurance companies spend a lot so um you know there's a lot more than just the uh, cost of insurance company now the question that uh, people should be asking and what we described is true you say well, why do they do that why does insurance company do that because they don't hire the right kind of people. This is musculoskeletal medicine. They don't hire us. They hire anesthesiologists and surgeons. That's the reason, the underlying reason. Nurse practitioners. None of those people do this kind of work. It sounds like medicine by time. <laughs> let me go to the doctor it's and be healed. It's medicine by stupidity. Yeah, because but let me get healed in eight months. Helps. You know, you got to know the truth. Let me get healed in eight months. Let me keep paying for the next yeah. eight months. The doctors and everything else, like Paul said. Yeah, so this what is, they were doing, trying to do, is prevent surgeries, which I agree with that. We don't... Uh, well, we don't got to wait three months, Doc? We, we never uh, have anybody to opt for operations. No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But this is what you're up... Yeah, this crazy. is why we have this radio show here. This cost me money to do this. This isn't free. It's an educational program, so that you find out more that things that you could do for yourself. And buy my book for 18 bucks. You got yourself a real gem there. Maybe what we need to do is get Paul and the doc to make their miracle a little bit longer. So instead of one <laughs> shot, maybe eight shots. Hey, eight shots, and the other one you play cards with them for six of them. No, no, well, I walked in early one day and I had to wait outside. No, uh, we do this as ethical as we can, very fast. Right. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, to me, you know, Paul, I, I don't know. Your father worked on me. I don't know if he ever told you that. Uh, and I had a groin injury. I don't, know if, I don't know if your father ever told you that. I walked in. I got two shots. That was a year ago. I, I'm assuming that if I went to a orthopedic guy, he would, send me da- he would send me down with therapy first. Am I right? There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And then you'd have a failure, and then he'd want to do other uh, things to you. So. Like medicine I can't take because of my, my sickness, and I would have ended up being operated on, I, I'm assuming. 
You would. Hey, let me ask a question. If, the, if this is a failure, does the doctor give you back your money? No. So if I go for three months of therapy, can I get my money back? No. Well, I'm paying him. He should pay me. I'm That's the right. guinea pig. Especially when they don't know what they're treating. Yeah, this is my point. And I get my money back. Let me no. try something else. <laughs> well, what happens if you if you guarantee? So if it doesn't work, you give them the money back, right? But, it, but we've never had that. We don't know what happens. <laughs> never had it. No, guarantee does not mean you get your money back. It means we look again right. for free. Right. That's what it means. But the, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you know, I, yeah. I said it wrong. But the, you know, the bottom line is, I don't know of any doctor at all that could guarantee what they do. Yeah, we we guarantee it pretty much. Yeah. You do the same thing, Paul, but uh, up in that great uh, place called where is he from again? Phoenix. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we do because uh, when we look at it, pain can only come from so many places, right? It can mm -hmm. only come from, yeah. you know. Yeah, any kind of pain complaint, whether it be the neck or the back or shoulder or hip or whatever, there are only so many places it can come from. So there are um, things that we can do for each place um, to improve the situation. So why does that work? Because we know the anatomy and we know how to examine for painful structures. That's why. So it's kind of deep. It's not like just walking in. I mean, we have a background. We know how to do it, in other words. So to find that source of the pain, once you find it, then you can treat it. Ah, that's the key to everything. It's the key to everything. Where the pain came from. And those that don't want to guarantee it, just put it straight. Are you going to guarantee me your work? Am I going to get over this in a couple of days? If they say, well, I don't know, then walk out. I mean, you got to shape up the doctor, too, you know. We're, we're all doctors. And, uh, you know, some of us uh, go the easy way out. I never did. Uh, well, I had a bad shoulder. I went into the doctor and I said, Doc, can you fix my shoulder? He said, Yeah. And I said, If you don't, can I get my money back? He said, No, he threw me out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, You got to go. You're a wise guy. <laughs> I'm not being, well, why am I being a wise guy? I think I'm being honest. Doc, if he can't help me and I'm paying him, I should get it back. Yeah, in our offices, uh, once, you, uh, once you pay your fee for your treatment, if you think it uh, it wasn't, uh, your pain came back, then you can come in for free. We re-examine it and find out where that pain really is because we know it does not come back. See? That's why you can make a guarantee yeah. like that. Yeah, it's funny. I got to meet new people in Dr. Penoso's office who was setting up the TV and all that, and I got to meet old people. People oh. have come back and new people first time. And the first timers didn't realize that you had a show. They said, look, he has a TV show. I go, I know, I'm on it. <laughs> Well, we don't see you. I know. I know. I'm on it. But the bottom line <laughs> the is... Mystery is the mystery man. The, the voice behind it. <laughs> the, the, the bottom line is that the new guy, the new lady, talking to the old guy who was there before, they were having a conversation. And he says, you're not going to regret this. You're only going to regret you didn't come sooner. And she says, really? And go, yep, yep, yep. When she was leaving, she says, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I got to tell everybody. He says, yeah, that's what we're working. Tell everybody. You should have seen this guy. The one that was shaped like the pretzel. You should have seen this oh, guy. I couldn't. I would have been laughing. You, I mean, he was, I, Doc, he was even willing to give him more money. He said, no, you don't have to give me any more money. I, that's what I'm here for. This guy. You should have brought him to the show. Uh, well, the uh, the gentleman, the, the ex-Marine ex was supposed to call. I gave him the number. He said that he listened to a show religiously. I mean, you, you want to see a guy bigger than you and I that did two tours. And again, thank you for your service. But, uh. He was in pain, and the VA and everyone couldn't help him. Okay. And it's funny, I, I was at a, a, a thing last night, uh, for uh, not a pleasant thing, but there was a bunch of people there that uh, never heard of you. And they said, well, tune in. And I, two of them said they were going to come in because they have pain, that, and the doc said, oh, it's scar tissue from surgery. Well, where did you hear that? Before? I don't know where that came from. We heard that from him, <laughs> scar tissue. Inflammation creating all these problems. Now everybody's talking about inflammation cure. We got to get Paul a show so between the two of them, we can get that whole middle ground in there. How's that sound, Paul? Right, 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 exactly. <laughs> so uh, how's your practice going up there? Down there or is it up there? Down there, right? Sideways. Sideways. Everything yeah. going good with you? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Terrific. Keep well, up. Well, I know what we're going to do now. Well, I'm going to ask a question for both of you guys. How's that? Here we go. Jackie from Boca Raton writes, I have, I have had pain in my hip for three years, and doctors have told me that either I have an operation to live for, uh, I'm sorry, told me that I have to have it operated on to get rid of the pain. The hip needs to be replaced, the doctor told me. I told him about your show, and he said, sure, go see him and see if that works. 
He will replace med- He will try to replace medicine in this country for bad hips. I'm sure. Well, I want him, and he wouldn't. She wouldn't tell the doctor's name, which is good, to hear how perhaps there is more than one way to fix a bad hip. And I've heard so many shows explain that maybe doctors should learn a new way to treat patients. So basically, what she's saying is, the doctor says, "Yeah, you go see him. Go see him." Go see yeah. Well, the difference between the surgeon and uh, what we do is mu- we don't operate. We don't have no surgery. Mm-hmm. We do musculoskeletal medicine. Right. Medicine. They do orthopedic surgery. So that's what you get. So, surgery. Uh, surgery. If you, yeah. Uh, if you don't want to get operated, what are you going to a surgeon for? I mean, I, I just don't get it. People, well, who in the world wants to go to a surgeon? People don't think, you know. They'll go to five or six surgeons with the, get the same opinion. And they think, uh, well, I have to get operated now. They come to me and I say, no, you don't. Mm-hmm. You don't get operated for pain. You get operated for other reasons, not pain. Right. Because we can always relieve the pain. And um, and it's a different thing. So remember, if you're going to musculoskeletal medicine, you want to go where there's no surgery there. So they have to work at it. And then get a guarantee of result. In other words, those are, that's, what, that's, the, the, that's how we work. You come and see me, I will guarantee my work. If not... Don't come in. Go somewhere else. It's and don't okay. bring and don't bring your MRIs, please. Yeah. <laughs> do not bring your MRIs. You can bring your MRIs. I don't nah, because doctors, I don't know. Hey, Paul, do you use MRIs? He does. Yeah. It depends on the on the problem. I mean, if someone has well, a pain a in answer. the leg <laughs> or the arm, then uh, you know we like to see what's affecting the nerve. Um, sometimes, if uh, you know, you might have a, a, a back pain complaint where it doesn't quite seem that it's mechanical, meaning a disc or a joint, mm-hmm. and, you know, it, you get a scan and you might see, uh, you know, a tumor there or something. You know, those are all bad you know, things that uh, that the uh, imaging is useful. But the majority of the time, a backache, you don't need MRI. It actually doesn't help at all because mm-hmm. um, you see all sorts of things, but you don't know if they hurt or not. So, uh, right. so for yeah, that's the majority of the point. So back what the- pain, MRI does nothing. Yeah, okay. What they're reading is not a guaranteed read. We need to do a guaranteed read on the films we do. We'll show you. Oh, and that's the, well, I call the scenario. At the end of your history, clinical exam, films, I take you back and we look at the film, and I, and I call that the scenario. And if we do a reg- real show on that, it's, it is going to be the thing people wait for because we put it all together for you. Where it is, why it is, what happened to you, how it's going to be fixed, and then we go ahead and do it, mm-hmm. and after that, you get the relief. Yeah. Sometimes, like you know, also, I would add that sometimes, uh, usually these are in, in uh, you, know, uh, you know, older ladies, um, you know, 50 and older, so I mean, if we look at the back, and old, oh my God. Or, or uh, on the film, you can tell if something looks a little bit funny, and then if you, you get, so they have a compression fracture from osteoporosis, that happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the MRI can tell you if it's old or new based on how much how much uh, water signals in the bone. So that's another time where it's helpful. But um, but still, you have a you can have a general idea that that's going on from um, from looking at uh, X-ray, you know. So in my, in my uh, uh, where we're from, everybody gets an MRI. Everybody. Oh, so especially in Florida. You uh, get an in, MRI that's for President Street. In Florida, everybody yeah, gets an MRI, everybody. and they bring them in to me. Yeah, that's what I said. Don't because it in. was ordered by somebody else. And I said, well, well you know, <laughs> I don't know what the, you know. You the, just say, you look old, at it, you know what, Doc? All, you hold old. it up like this, you go, okay. You well, hold first, of all, it, first of all, <laughs> it's old business. Yes, I understand. And we don't do that. You know, I don't mess around with, with people's brains. I tell them exactly what it is. If that you want the truth, you want it right here right there you get it the scary thing is that if you want to be patted on the back and take this pill That's don't right. come in to see me that we, uh, oh yeah you know, we're not gonna do that. in other words the thing is we don't want to be your friends <laughs> we want to just cure you is that what you say doc i used to work with a neurosurgeon like that oh yeah the worst bedside manner i said well so what you're not going to marry the guy what does he tell you, <laughs> you know, Doc, maybe they won't want to marry you i mean you know come on people well, in such pain they want to marry you Right. Yeah, you know, yeah, let me let me do, let me do some more questions. I'm trying to download a couple of questions that someone gave me, but uh, you know, I just can't seem to find it. Now, when Hey guys, I was going to say I have to I have something I have to do, but um, I wanted to talk uh, at least get uh, talk about neck pain from my own personal experience too. Um, 
but uh, um, I wanted to share that today. No, we I appreciate that. that. Appreciate no, that. We always thank like to have. I uh, thank you for calling up, my friend. Hey. I'll see you next time. You got it. Great. It's, so, it's always good to hear from Paul. You know, he has different things that uh, that his father does. Let's go to another question. I'm not going to leave anybody. I'm going to all the... Richie from Boca Raton writes, I was at practice at FAU football. Hurt my ankle during scrimmage. My question is, the ankle has a simple sprain. Can I come in to see you just for a simple sprain? And how does that work in my case? Yeah, treat it simply. Yeah, simply. <laughs> hey, Doc, what's the difference between a high ankle sprain and a sprain? I don't know if any difference. Me neither. And this is what they classify things as. I don't know what they're talking about. High ankle sprain. And That's what they call it. High ankle, which takes longer to heal than a regular sprain. Well, then it's probably not this, not an ankle sprain. Mm-hmm. So a high ankle is probably not an ankle. What I, here's what I've always wanted to know. This, this is something that's always played. The terminology, by the way, it will kill yes. you. Yes, terminology. If you don't watch what you're talking about. You know, you put a label on something. Boom. And everything you do after that has to conform to that label. Yes, like Tommy High John. High ankle sprain. What does that mean? I, I don't know. know what it means. And I treat this stuff every day, and I don't know what it means. So I would walk out of there and come and see me. But most <laughs> athletic departments have high ankle sprain as a diagnosis on the NFL sheet. They do? Yeah. Well, well they're full of baloney because there's no such thing. <laughs> well, if every... <laughs> Love this guy. If everyone wants to know, <laughs> our seminar. So if you have all these questions and you don't want to come into his office, you don't want to call him up, that seminar will be February 16th at the South County Civic Center at 16700 Jog Road. You can call 954-303-9563. If you'd like to just come in or you want to visit his website, you go to doc, you go to Pinozo. That's P-A-N-N-O-Z-Z-O dot TV. You could look and just register there, and or if not, you just want to come in and take the chance. Uh, we'll, have, if you, we'll have plenty of seats. If you don't well, call we, up, we'll have enough seats for you. We also want to um, touch base with the veterans out there. Yes. We want the vets to come on down. A lot of vets, from what we hear, you're not getting good medical service where you're at. Why don't you come on down and see what we can do for you? Well, you know, you just said something very funny. Uh, Dr. Pinoza happens to work with a doctor who's a... Uh, a psychiatrist or psychologist, the one that you work with, you try to get people... Psychiatry. Okay, and he gets people off of uh, the drugs. If I'm, if I'm saying something wrong, just stop me. And then he sends them over to Dr. Pinoza to get rid of the pain. Yeah, it's Dr. Rosenblatt. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. He, he takes care of the drug uh, uh, deficiency, and right. uh, we take the pain away so he could do that. It's a nice combination. I don't do drugs at all. Uh, I mean, we don't prescribe it or mm-hmm. do anything with them. And he does, and uh, we take care of the pain, though. So it's a it's a great system to work together, these two doctors. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to have him on the show next week, I hope. Oh, yeah, I'd love to have him on the show because it would be good to see what he does, and maybe if we can get him at the seminar. Yeah. And you know what we're going to do at the seminar, folks, is something different. We're going to show pictures that uh, Mr. Santori and his company do where we're going to show you where migraines come from. And Dr. Pinoza will explain all that. Is that correct? Is that the kind of concept we're doing, buddy? Yeah, we're going to be putting on uh, a show as a doctor is going to be talking about cures right. and, and mm-hmm. different ailments and what to look for. You know, a lot of people write a lot of questions because they really don't know what to look for in mm-hmm. terms of what do I got. Right. If I got a headache here, is this a migraine? Yeah. As you, I used to think migraines were in the front of your head. Well, it's, it's what's causing the pain, which I, I, a lot of people are learning now. A, a migraine, the pain might be in the head, but that's not what's causing the pain. But well, the drugs are sending a message to them that you don't have that pain. Headache is a symptom. Right. Remember, no source there, uh, just a symptom. symptom. The front of a front of headache comes from sinuses. Well, you know, side comes from TMJ. The back comes from migraine. That's right. And into the arm comes from a lower neck in the neck. That's it. No, no, no big deal, and no uh, terms like they use. Uh, what do they use? Uh, uh, when you get three or four headaches in a, in a cluster room. headaches, cluster. Oh, <laughs> that has no. You think I know all this stuff? Did you? Did I you listen. <laughs> no. What's it called? No. Cluster, cluster headaches. Cluster. They cluster. come in clusters. You know, two or three at a time. That is not true. My father used to get them uh, ten years ago. Know what the doctor said to do? Get a sink and put and fill it up with ice. <laughs> <laughs> and just dunk your head in there. Oh, my that. God. Can you imagine? His wrinkles went away for a I've short heard, time. I've heard about that. <laughs> yeah? I mean, even something in concussions, Doc, where the NFL now is admitting that it's not in the brain. No? Uh, no, it's never been in the brain, no. And that, I mean, that's big. That, that changes. What about the movie that just came out? Concussion. It's about the brain. <laughs> I mean, jeez. 
Well, this doc, this doctor found out what it's very. It's not funny. It's it, it just shows that you're a step ahead of the curve. Is that they're finding out what he's been talking about for years? That concussion doesn't come from the head. It comes from damage in the shoulders that's causing neck, the concussion. Neck, neck, neck. The neck. Yeah. And that's, that's why you get the ringing, you get the dizziness, yeah. the vertigo. Yeah, all, all of that, that comes from the neck. At one yeah. area. Right. Because that head is pretty powerful, the front. Am I well, right? Well, you can have brain disease, and they're yeah. fighting that out. But there are a lot of reasons for that. Age alone, uh, uh, small vessels uh, coagulate and uh, stop working. Uh, Even lifting weights. I stop. mean, they're talking about uh, who was the guys in prison now. Uh, There's a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Football star. O.J. Simpson? One, which one? Said O.J. Simpson. And, um, well, you got hit a few times in the head. You got a few times in the head, but uh, but like I said before, it's very hard to get brain damage from that because of the way it's made. It's encased in fluid. And as you know, fluid is a good uh, uh, dissipator of shock. And so how do you get brain damage that way? I don't know. Well, well they show they show these slides now where they're showing all but sorts of But there's a lot activity. of uh, there's a lot of people in nursing homes with Alzheimer's disease, which is same a brain stuff, disease, right? have never played football. And they have so the answer problem. that question. Yeah, yeah. that's a, how, how does that affect? That's that's true. Where where does Alzheimer's come from? Is, well, is, it's uh, usually heredity. It is really. Yeah. But I'm I'm not an expert in that. Well, I happen to watch a whole show on that. And, you know, for some reason, it, 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 it's, they're saying food can be a very big factor. Don't in say anymore. It's a lie. I know. I, I know because. Read another question. Yeah, let's, let's get off yeah, of that. Yeah, let's read another question. We don't want to do that. I don't know if I feel like it right yeah, now, okay. Doc. Okay, give me the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, been, I've been replaced by Dr. Pinozo. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> okay. Jake from Survey Market Rash. I have tennis elbow and a bad shoulder on the same arm. There we go. Can this be from an from one or two injuries? I ask because I instruct tennis and think you could be a very good solution to people who use my services and can get movement back and instruction from me. Well, there's, a, there's an entrepreneur. Yeah, that's, that's that a good question. That is a great attitude to have. He's an instructor, but you can't instruct people who have a pain. That's They're right. not going to take them. That's right. Yes, we, uh, those are two injuries he has, and we can treat them both. No okay. Uh, you can always call Dr. Pinozo after the show. It's 561-381-5800. Uh, Sharon from Atlanta writes, My college son plays football here in Atlanta at the college level, and he went to see his coach and medical staff about going to see you about an ACL Ooh. injury. <laughs> you notice that she's writing. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. course. They said for him not to jeopardize his future and just do what others playing in the NFL now did. I've asked him just to go and see you, and perhaps logically we can address his needs, but he's afraid that he can't help me. My question is in reverse. What would happen if he went to see you and you could not help him? Nothing. Nothing. There is nobody that can't be helped. There is no ACL. So it's hard to fix something that's not there. Well, let me None. Let me fill you in on this question. This question was held back a few months. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. yeah. I held this question back for a different reason. This particular individual, and it begins. This particular <laughs> individual just played in the NFL. Okay. And the reason that I didn't reveal this deal is because... I wanted to see what would happen going in the traditional ACL method. He did very well with the way the doctors treated this, but he missed 12 months. He played last season mm -hmm. that's, very well. That's very well. <laughs> Hold on. No, I mean, I mean the uh, yardage per carry. He could have done this a year earlier. This kid now is two years in the NFL. He was off playing for a year? Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm going to tell you, that is pathetic. Yeah. He knows that now. This happens to be a very good friend of... Uh, uh, when this Sarah, no, Sarah, Linda's daughter, and he's an NFL player. And after the show, I'll tell you guys who it is. Okay. All right. But I was sworn to secrecy; I could not reveal who. No, he no, was that's okay. No, that's all right. We don't need to know. But, but he uh, could have been. He could, he did had a great year. He could have had a great year two years ago. Uh, yeah. I made a lot more. I made a lot of money. Well, he made a lot of money, but he would have made even more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see as many as I could get in before they. Uh, Sarah from Atlanta writes: I've changed my name because I may have a shot at the Olympics. Wow. Swimming, but I've hurt my back while practicing. I can't swim right now. I saw some tape of young girl who went to see you and how she is fine. She was about 14. I want my parents to hear how someone like me can be helped with a back injury. Before you answer that question, Doc, 
Uh, Sarah, if, whatever name you're using, call the doctor, 561-381-5800, and put your, and put your mom and dad on the phone. There is no way that any child can be uh, injured in my office. We don't do any surgery. We don't do anything uh, except take care of the pain. And if it's a young girl, a really young girl, mm -hmm. uh, there's no shots. I mean, it's just knowing where to do the work. I guarantee that pain will come out and the scoliosis will be uh, reduced. So try it. I mean, you got nothing to lose, for Christ's sake. You know, and I just know. so everyone knows, the uh, medication that you uh, that you give is not a performance medication. So the no, NFL and uh, I guess the United State Olympics Committee doesn't have any problem with that no, either. It's, it's in strictly, and out of your system. Strictly anti-inflammatory. Yeah. It's funny because I took my son to Dr. Pinozo. He didn't get a shot. He didn't need no, it. No, he didn't need so. it. You see how straight he's walking? Yeah, he thinks he's all done in a bag of chips. <laughs> No. It's his okay. birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy man. birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. Uh, don't don't celebrate until the show's over. Uh, Mark from Survey Monkey writes, I have heard your show a couple of times now and wanted to ask. Those who, who have surgery on shoulders and though and in the area that concern that concerns me still have pain, which is coming from where? I've been asked to have shoulder surgery, but found that many who had it still have lingering pain and use anti inflammatories to get through the day. Is this is what I have to look forward to? Yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. Don't operate a shoulder, ever. And that's There's a no moving good, part, right, Doc? No good reason to operate a shoulder. Moving part, the shoulder, so you're going to always have, have to, inflammation. You've got to have moving parts, and you cannot tolerate scar tissue. Mm -mm -mm. So you have to have that treated. Knees are the same. Elbows are the same. Wrists are the same. Wherever you have to have mobility, you'd never want a surgery done. If they don't know how to treat it without a surgery, walk out of there. there there's nobody keeping you. Well, first of all, you have your choice. I mean, my gosh. You can gosh. go anywhere you want. You can go. Here's what I say. Go for the surgery afterwards. If you can't cure them, go for the surgery afterwards. Why do the surgery first and then come after you to yeah, see you? that's true. Okay, well, I'm getting a sign. We're going on. So let me get one more question in. Alex from Twitter writes, I've had pain in my left knee for years, and no one knows what to do with it. Surgery is always mentioned, but want to ask you. I wanted to ask you if my real problem comes from my hip and they are going into surgery on my knee. We it's possible. Well, we had that with, uh, with Leah. Yeah. We had an ankle pain. Guess what? Yeah. A hip, uh, the hip, uh, it's well known in, uh, you know, doctors know this, mm -hmm. that you can have a referral into your knee from your hip. Everybody knows that. So... What's the big deal? Get your hip treated or examined for, and then uh, let it go after that. Cause and effect, my friend. Cause and effect. Find out where the problem. Find them where the problem is, and then go and fix it. Oh, I don't have music. I got, I got one more. Tony from Facebook's right. I am a bodybuilder Facebook. in Miami, and I've hurt my. Oh, can't do it. Do uh, it, do it. I can't. You won't be able to answer by the time the question is. I got 30 yeah, for seconds. Next week. Well, you use the time up. That's all right. Do it for next week. Give out the phone number for the doc. 561-381-5800 to talk to the doc. I know he's got a call now. 561-381-5800. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the Dr. Pinozo Hour. Remember, he is the pain whisperer. Dr. Pinozo, Linda, Freddie. Geo, thank you so much for helping us put the show on. And folks, 561 381 5800. Have a great day. Well, thank you very much. This has been the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you spend five minutes with Dr. Pinozo, you'll see he genuinely enjoys helping others. Visit Dr. Pinozo online at www.paincentersnationwide.com or call him at 561-381-5800. Dr. Pinozo will consult with you to determine the best solution to your pain needs. 561-381-5800 is the number to call, even if it's just for a second opinion. Join Dr. Pinozo next week when he brings you more important information on the physics of weight-bearing and engineer concepts for the body.